trick. No, I made uh, heart-shaped pancakes for the kids this morning. Look at you. I, you had to really squint to see the heart shape. <laughs> it was kind of just a blob. But, you know, at least I work. tried. Exactly. It was a good it's thought. It was a good thought. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, though, if you have plans tonight. or just. So, I mean, you could almost sit outside. You could almost sit outside. It's kind of cool enough that you could cuddle up a little bit, yes. but it's not too cold that you don't want to be outside for any length of time. You need one of those little time. globes like yes. they have. Yep. Absolutely, a little igloo to yeah. snuggle up in this evening. I'm what just a beautiful being quiet day. here because I'm like, okay, taking yeah. notes. Yes. You'll be with idea, me tonight. Idea, idea. <laughs> we'll just hang here together. There you go. I love that. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy your little igloo for two. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the forecast because it's going to get even warmer. If you think today's warm, we're talking 60s starting Ooh, tomorrow. Oh, man. But that comes with a little bit of rain. So we'll time it out. We'll start off with a look outside. And look how many people are out and about on the Ocean City Boardwalk here today. We're looking at people walking, biking, maybe enjoying a little, maybe a bicycle built for two or a Surrey ride. Sounds romantic on Valentine's Day. This is Ocean City. Don't often see that many people walking on the boardwalk in the middle of February. But it's looking kind of busy with all that sunshine and just a few wispy clouds there this afternoon. In the city right now, it is 56 degrees, well above the average for the time of year. In fact, our overnight lows are going to bottom out in the low 40s, which is closer to the average high than our actual high is today. Well above average, the trend continues. Winds are out of the west southwest, nine miles per hour. Here's a look at your next 12 hours. We'll be in the low 50s, 51 or so by five o'clock. Into the 40s we go once the sun goes down, and notice clouds are going to increase. Now, clouds actually lead to warmer overnight temperatures. Think of a cloud cover to the Earth's surface as a blanket to your body while you're sleeping. Your body cools, the blanket traps all that outgoing radiation and keeps you nice and warm and snugly. That's what clouds do to the Earth's surface. So as the Earth's surface cools, the clouds trap that outgoing radiation and you'll generally find warmer temperatures on a cloudy night than a clear night. Those clouds coming in out ahead of our next system, which is really going to weaken as it gets here. You can see some showers over by Chicago down towards Cincinnati right now. Clouds starting to move in. I don't think they will move in until really after midnight tonight, so it is a nice sunset, a nice evening. Here's the first system. This is weakening as it moves in. Our secondary system, the one we're watching for Thursday and Friday, is just starting to take shape here over portions of the Four Corners region. So tonight, not too cold. We'll bottom out around 40. We may even stay around 42, 43 tonight. Not too cold. Winds light out of the southeast, 5 to 10. Tomorrow starts off with a stray sprinkle in a couple of spots in the morning. Then clouds will break for sunshine. And once the clouds break for sun, we are well into the 60s, 63 degrees. Could see some 65, 66 observations across the region as well, depending on how quickly that sun comes out. So here's the timing over really just the next 48 hours or so. You can see clouds build in overnight. Tomorrow morning, there is the chance of just a couple of spotty sprinkles. This is about 7 or 8 in the morning. That clears out. And then and the sun comes out, and that's when we really warm up. The afternoon tomorrow looks fantastic. Thursday, though, here comes our next warm front. This is going to lift in by afternoon. 10 a.m., it's still dry. By about 2 or 3 o'clock, that's when our first wave of showers comes through. And this is along our next system, which comes in late Thursday. That's the warm front. There will be a break in the action Thursday night where we don't get a ton of rain. And then the cold front comes in Friday morning. That'll bring some heavier showers and then a sharp turn to colder weather Friday night into Saturday. The thing is, that cool down is not going to last. We'll clear it out. Friday, we go from 60 to 25 Saturday morning. The high Saturday is only 43. That is seasonable. But then we're right back into the 50s and near 60 through the remainder of the President's Day weekend. Wow. Siafa and Jess, back to you. I like it. Yeah, it's great. So <laughs>